Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can share in a Sprite Kid game. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, as usual, let us just quickly commit our changes into our newly created branch. Day 16 should be our commit message and let's commit these two files and push it up into github don't forget you can check out the github repository on my rebeloper github account and now finally we are going to create our day 17th branch as usual from the last branch and we are in the current branch so today we are going to uh, create a share button and we are going to implement the share functionality but above that I want to show you how you can think like a coder and how you can act like a coder so I am going to let you in a little secret when you see these YouTube videos typing people out code exactly perfectly that is not the case with real-time developers we developers tend to think 90% of the time and then type a code 10% uh, or maybe just 5% of the time because the other 5% and this is what we are going to talk about in the first part of this video is actually googling finding out new uh, codes and finding solutions to our problems so today's problem is how to share in iOS and course in a sprite kit game so for that I'm going to, to, fi to find out that we are going to open our browser and I will just type in here uh, okay and uh, I usually go to Stack Overflow but if you don't have that um, precise target then you might end up getting maybe a few blog posts like you're hacking with Swift or Ray Vendorly side UI activity view controller so basically I will start off with the stack overflow and let me just go there and you will see that here we have our question asked basic example for sharing text or image with UI activity view controller in Swift and that is what we are going to need and I usually skip the question part if you are a more experienced developer then you can easily skip this part and go down here because you are actually interested in the answer so if the answer is good for you then it doesn't really matter what the question exactly was about so here is it says it is updated to Swift free, but we will most probably could manage updating it to Swift 4 if there would be a problem. So as I can see here, we have two buttons added share some text and share an image. So there probably will be two IB actions. And if I scroll down to the code, yes, there is. So here is to share some text and here is to share an image. So what we used to uh, do as uh, coders and to save up some time and we we don't really want to learn everything by heart so, and of course everything is changing this is a swift free code maybe we need to change some of the syntax uh, when we copy this out into our app but what you need to remember and this is crucial you need to read the code and you need to understand it and that is very very important because if you just start copy and pasting code then and not understanding what you are really pasting into your and maybe changing into your project then it will get ugly as soon as possible so let us just read and understand so this is our text message here is our text to share so we have an array here and that is an array because we need to add to our UI activity view controller an array activity items we need this is text to share this needs to be an array and uh, we will most probably populate it with a text and an image so we will make it uh, these two image IB action these IB actions as one so 
This is why we uh, created here an array and then we create a UI activity view controller with the basic uh, thing. And then we have here activity view controller, popover presentation controller and a source view. Now this is, as, and I already know that, I, and it says in the comments so that iPads won't crash. For the iPad a screen, you need to specify the source view. This is not uh, mandatory for iPhone screens, but if your device is iPad, then you need to set this up. Okay, and next up is, uh, we want to, of course, exclude if we need or if we decide to exclude any activities. So we exclude activity types and here airdrop and post to Facebook is excluded. That is up to your choice. And finally, we present it. And as you can see, we are in a view controller and we are presenting it on self. So we are presenting it on the view controller. So we need to work I'm <laughs> going to create a workaround so we may present it in an SK scene. But if you have watched my previous video, then you already have a hunch how to uh, present this on an SK scene. Okay, now let's get back a little bit to our code here. And of course, we want to get this accessible to all of our SK scenes and all of our projects so we are going to add this to our ACT manager as we did with our show alert where we showed a UI alert controller so let's just create a function here let it be func share that is plain old simple and I will just copy and paste this uh, default uh, code from stack overflow and Let's see what changes do we need. Well, first of all, as you can see, we have here a text to share. So we have here share and we will add here. Okay, and it will be of type string. Good stuff. Now we don't need to create our text here. So I will just, first of all, I will just uh, comment out, maybe I will need these lines later on. We will clean up uh, after we have finished our uh, setup. Okay, now we need to have text to share. So I would just delete, uh, maybe I would just rename this with command and click on it and let's rename this. Okay, finally click on rename or maybe hit return and this will be uh, renamed. As you can see here, we have shared items. Okay, now we have our text here. For uh, at this time, we will just leave the text uh, only. We will add the image later on. Now, we are creating the activity view controller. Here we have a source view, but what is the source view? Well, we need to add this. Let, let us just read here value of type ACT manager has no view because now we uh, the compiler says that we have no view so we are just going to go up here and add source and view but for that uh, scene dot view but for that we need to add here on scene as we did in the last episode so this will be an SK scene okay and now we can use this scene. So we will use this. And now it should be okay. Yes. And of course we will uh, make this error go away by setting so scene view window and root view controller. Okay, if you have watched the previous episode of the series, then you will know how this all works out. Well, basically we are grabbing the root view controller from our C. And that is uh, good. What I would like to add now is these exclude activity types, okay? And I will just uh, create here. And these will be, as you can see, UI activity types. So this will be an array. So I will just finally create an array and UI activity type. And 
let us just copy this out and paste it in here okay what else can we add now it's time to add our image so let's go back and see how the image is added so here we have cre uh, created an image with the image named and we are going to create image to share so again here you can see that the image is added to our array of image activity items so simply let us just copy this or maybe let's just create it this in code because it's fairly simple so uh, let us just go here and let image that will be a ui image and we will choose named let's just go down here named and let us just choose here one of our images this button play i'll just copy out the uh, title here and add it here so after the text i will just append our image but as you saw let me just go back here image as you can see image is a ui image but it is an optional so we could just simply unwrap it and uh, let's just as you can see it already has popped up so we are going to create a guardlet statement and if that isn't true then we are going to simply return okay and now let's see let's just build let's fix this okay now we have added our uh, image to our shared items but i want to create and uh, add an image inside our function declaration so i will just add this here image and it will be a ui image and it will be an optional of course and now let us just test this out first of all we need to create um, inside our main menu a new button and i will just copy the raid button okay and don't forget to take a look at the video where i have created this raid button and I will just rename it share button okay and I will just type in here share and the action inside our completion should be handle share button and let's just copy this out and let's create a function down here good stuff and finally let's just build this out to see if everything is okay compiling and it should build out succeeded and now we can access act manager now we can uh, get this share function share on self of course and the text will be and the image uh, let's just go back here and the image should be our ui image and let's call this out named let me just copy and paste this button play paste it here exclude activity items well maybe i just want to exclude uh, let's exclude let's exclude airdrop and let's exclude facebook let me just type it here post to facebook it's up to your choice and now finally we are going to need to add our button and i will just again copy this out from the raid button and paste it in here and maybe just put it a little bit further down and replace this to share button and again add our child to the scene by adding add child share button and finally we want to test it but we cannot test this thoroughly inside our simulator so i have uh, selected our developer iphone uh, plugged in my device and i will just quickly type in quicktime player to show you how you can mirror your phone let's not a new audio recording sorry for that let's choose new movie recording and it should be displayed 
Okay, here we go. And now let us just build and run on my iPhone and let's see how this share functionality plays out. And it should be fine. Okay, let us just wait for it. It is installing. Okay, here we go. Here we have our share button. Let's just tap this. And here we are. As you can see, we do not have the uh, air. Uh, I believe we have omitted. Let's see what we did omit. Here we go. What didn't we add? What functionality? Oh, we omitted AirDrop, we excluded AirDrop and Facebook. And as you can see, no AirDrop or Facebook is available. And even if we go to more, we don't have any Facebook or AirDrop. And if you let, let us just choose our messages here and we should get the text and the image here. So here we have, let's just go back here. Okay, here we have our image and our text. And let's just choose here. Okay, and let us just, I'm always trying to click on it. So we have shared it successfully. Okay, that is it for today's episode. Hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos of me explaining iOS concepts. And I will see you in the next one.